Good evening, dear friend. How are you and your family and friends? I'm Dr. Prosper Tetido from the United Kingdom. Let's reflect and pray. Raising the dead. Acts chapter 20, verse 8 to 12. Lord, may we see the spiritually dead come alive in Christ through our witnessing and spreading the good news, we pray. Lord, when the conditions require it, give us the faith to raise the physically dead, we pray. Release the gift of faith among us, Holy Spirit, we pray, so that we see you moving in astonishing ways. Lord, glorify yourself in our midst by the signs and wonders you use to confirm the preaching of your word, we pray. O oh Lord, send revival that spreads over social media. Amen. We continue with today's message captioned, when preparation meets opportunity. I have finished the race, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. Seneca, the younger said, lack is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. As you read in scripture about the people God used to accomplish great things, you discover that much of their time was spent preparing for what seems like a relatively brief assignment. The ego in each of us craves two things, limelight and longevity. But with God, only one thing matters, which is doing his will. When you can say like Paul, I have finished the race. You have lived successfully. So who does God use? Those who are prepared. Whether you are called to business, arts, education, politics, medicine, or ministry, this principle is immutable. Opportunity comes to the prepared. That means every experience in life has potential value. The Israeli said, one secret of success in life is for a man to be prepared for his time when it comes. And it is not enough to simply get prepared. You must stay prepared. Solomon writes, hold on to instruction, guard it well for it is your life, Proverbs chapter four, verse 13. Knowledge in most fields doubles about every five years. And unless you keep growing, you will end up with outdated skills that don't match the challenges of the world you live in. And here is another thing. Preparation doesn't start with what you do. It starts with what you believe. When you believe that tomorrow's success depends on today's preparation, you see today differently. Queen Elizabeth I reputedly offered the royal physicians up to half her estate if they could extend her lifespan. But of course, they couldn't. That's why the Bible says it's important to recognize how short our lives really are so that we may be wise. Psalm 90, verse 12. Thank you, dear friend, for listening to this message. And it's my prayer that we all put this into practice. I wish you all a very good evening and God bless you.